What's up y'all, I'm back and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make a different kind of veg tent setup. It's gonna be top fed, it's gonna be a table, and I'm gonna be using hydrogen, just straight uh, full-time recirculating top fed system. Um, I said I'm gonna use, obviously this four by four S's and it looks like a three by three table, just over three by three table. I just got some things I already had made for my last veg system. But point is, I'm gonna take this table, I'm going to, right now I just put in a couple bulkheads right here. These are gonna be where the water drains back. I'm gonna have the table tilted up just like slightly like that. So the water will drain down to this end and drain out those holes. This, that's the, uh, the low end obviously, you can see that there's like a little cutout in this, or there's a little uh, lowered section of this flood table. And that's where it's gonna drain. And this end over here, I'm gonna keep it slightly slanted so it drains out easy. I'm gonna run a uh, bulkhead through this middle part here, somewhere right around here, and just straight up, and it's gonna split off in four, four parts. It's gonna go to each corner. There's gonna be one bucket in each corner. These aren't gonna be normal buckets. It's not gonna be using a bucket like it normally is used. What I'm gonna do, this is gonna be a really simple setup, and it's gonna be uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna take these buckets, I'm gonna take this handle off, obviously, I'm gonna put a bucket in each corner, like that. So there's gonna be four buckets. Like I said, the the bulkhead come up through here is gonna PVC up to split off four ways. One emitter going in each bucket for a recirculating system. Um, all I'm gonna do for these buckets is use my hole saw. Buckets upside down, obviously. I'm just gonna cut holes in each of the tops of these buckets. So all these buckets for is to be able to suspend, I'm gonna put the net pots, one on each bucket with the hydrogen in it. I'm basically using these buckets just to suspend the net pots up in the air and let the roots grow down until they hit the base of the table there. And uh, that's it, This is this, that's the entire system here. It's gonna be a four plant system, uh, recirculating top fed system, I'm gonna use hydrogen only. And uh, I'm gonna use this as my veg tent, but this will be, 100% capable of growing plants all the way through flower. Uh, I am going to use a chiller, and that's the main reason. The main reason I'm building this system instead of the other system I had. The other system I had was just standalone buckets with pipes between them, going through my veg tent. And the reason I'm going to put these buckets on top of a table instead, and not use buckets with uh, bulkheads through the bottom of the bucket and do it like that, is because the lines between the buckets. I use a chiller for my water, so when the water's really cold and the um, tent is really hot and humid, there's a crazy amount of condensation that comes off those chilled water pipes underneath the buckets. So rather than have a bunch of pipes that are chilled, creating condensation and dripping all over the tent, I'm going to have it like this. Um, the water is just going to be going up to the bulkhead and going into the each net pot basically into each plant, one in each corner here, and then uh, draining out the bottom of the, the uh, flood, drain, the flood uh, table here, back out of the tent into the reservoir. So the whole reason I'm doing this system is basically just to keep the condensation on the pipes out of the pictures. Just basically keep all the water inside the flood tray until it, it'll, it'll warm up a little bit and then it'll go just down a couple of uh, the Nylon was it nylon tubes is what I use just to run it back to the uh, the reservoir and back to the table. It'll be nylon tubes, so those won't have so much condensation like the uh, PVC did. By the way, that's what I'm doing right here. This is how I'm set up. I'll come back when I'm uh, about done, and I'll show you little steps of the progress along the way, and then uh, we'll have a nice, easy, quick, cheap, super cheap, super easy, super quick build. And uh, it should be able to flower four plants, especially in a four by four or whatever. It's, you can obviously expand this to a four by eight size table or whatever, but the uh, point is it's super simple, cheap, and easy. So let me go ahead and get started doing this. Okay, I'm back and here's where I'm at. I just got done uh, boiling this hydrogen, getting it ready. But uh, you can see I drilled holes with the hole saw, eight inch hole saw, in the tops of these buckets. And that's what it's gonna look like right there. Uh, it's basically just a, all the buckets have just a hole drilled in them that fits the 8-inch net pots. Blammo, net pot sits there. 
And these bucket sights are complete. They're just an upside down bucket sitting there with a hole on top and net pot hanging there. So now, what I need to do is just build, I got the, uh, have those bulkheads in. I need to drill my return, uh, or my uh, water going to the bulkheads, the drippers. I'm gonna drill a hole through here, put a bulkhead, and come up. I'm gonna put a four-way split at the top here, at which point I'm gonna take half-inch PVC and go down to threaded half inch to quarter inch um, RODI type tubing. And that's when I'm gonna go from the middle here out to the bucket split. And I'm gonna use a one of these valves so I can turn off flow or adjust flow to each bucket. And then when I get out to the buckets, I'm not sure if I'm gonna split it or just use one piece. We'll see what I do when I get there, but either way, I'll be back in a second while I'm Getting ready to do all the rest of this. I'm just getting done boiling the, the uh, hydrogen. I need to go in my grow room when the lights are out right now and see exactly if I have the, the right pieces. I don't think I have the threaded half inch pieces to go into this, so I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot as well before this. But uh, either way, I'll be back when, it's, when I get some of this done. Uh, probably I'll be putting the this return uh, bulkhead and the pieces in here just to lay it out and see where everything's headed. Okay. Here is an expanded view. Sorry, the expanded kind of way it's going to be. I'm going to basically gonna put all these pieces together uh, tight here, but this is how it's going to be. This is going to be coming up out of the uh, bulkhead here. It'll be up about even with the tops of these buckets. This four way split uh, T or five way T, half inch, five inch T from half, half inch uh, PVC. Then it's going to go into these straight into these half inch to half inch male thread PVC pieces. And that is gonna go straight into these little uh, adapters that go from half inch uh, PVC down to the quarter inch um, RODI tubing. And then after the RODI tubing, there'll be the, basically the valve, so I can control the flow to each bucket. So. This is what this is going to look like when I'm done. It'll be a lot, obviously, it'll be right up on it like this, nice and close. But it's going to be just this big little, or sorry, this, this uh, configuration here on parts. So let me go ahead and put that together and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I've made a little bit of progress. I'm underneath the table right now. And here's the bulkheads installed with their little kind of elbows that I make for them. And these elbows are just basically so I can get them out the tent at a, at a, better height instead of running the hose off of them and having it have to curve back up this way the hose can kind of go level out so either way so here's the two drainage bulkheads where the water's dripping out of the tray and here is where the water's coming in the um tray going up to the uh the the four-way split to the different buckets um this was kind of a pain because it was really tight there for this bulkhead but either way Everything looks like it's gonna work pretty decent. This, the top, uh, <laughs> I haven't put in the top part up there, the uh, the four-way split, but it may be leaning tower up there because uh, of the tightness it had here on this little ridges of this stupid uh, tray. But either way, everything's in on the bottom here. And like I said, they're basically all pointing over to where the edge of the tent's gonna be over here and the hole, the uh, the vent hole at the bottom where the all these pipes are gonna go out is gonna be right over there in that corner. So they're all pointing that direction. So now let me get out of here. I'll go look at the top and see what we got. If I can get up from underneath this thing. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, so now I'm out from underneath this thing. Here's the bulkhead I put in the middle. Like I said, this one's a little bit, I don't think it's straight up and down. I think it's gonna be like a leaning tower here. Here's the bulkheads on the end. Everything's tightened up and ready to go. And here's the little uh, manifold I basically put together for the um, four-way split. So it's gonna be in there like that. There's the manifold. It is going to be, it, it, and I think it's going to hold water. I think it's not going to leak. But even if it does, the beauty of this being on top of a flood table is it's not a big deal if it does leak. <laughs> it's just going to leak right in the tray and drip out and, you know, go back the way it's supposed to. But like I said, I've got all these valves here. This, uh, this uh, RODI tubing is actually really easy to work with, it turns out. I thought it was going to be a little trickier, but it's just push them together. That's it. So the valves are here so I can regulate the flow of different buckets if one of them's not getting any water or the other one's getting too much or whatever. So this thing's ready to go. I'm gonna put a, um, 
I'm gonna put a union on here so I can spin this around whatever direction I want whenever I want after the fact. But I might just wait till later to do that. I might not need to put that on there now, but uh, either way, that's, that's something I might do. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this in the grow room now because I've got everything I wanna do out here done. But now I need to go position this in the, not the grow room, my, uh, my veg tent. I need to go position this in my veg tent so it'll be where it is and I can hook up all the hoses underneath and glue this in there and put everything together in there and then we'll get this thing cranking. I've got uh, nutrient water actually mixing up right now in the reservoir for this with the pump and the chiller. Everything's hooked up over there except for the hoses coming out to this. So I just have to glue this one piece down here and then hook all the hoses underneath the bottom with a bunch of uh, hose clamps basically and uh, this thing will be ready to go. So I'll be back when I get this in the tent and we're ready to run some water through this puppy. Okay, I'm back and I got everything in the grow room now. Here is the outside of the tent setup. I got the chiller, so here's the pump. It comes up, goes up this way to the chiller. Right now I only have it running through the chiller. Just recirculating through the chiller back in the reservoir here. I've got my nutrient mixture mixed up. And this is closed, this is the part that goes out to the tent. So like I said, this goes out to the chiller. This is coming back from the chiller and it's got a good flow of uh, water in here between the chiller coming back in and this air stone I put in here, which is blasting it. This thing is mixing up really well. It's getting a lot of oxygen in here. The water is at 68 degrees. Everything's good in here. And the nutrients are where they need to be also. But either way, that doesn't really matter. This is just about the build. So here's the part that goes into the tent and here's the part coming from the tent. Let's go take a look at the table I got in here now. So here's what we got. I went ahead and PVC glued that sucker in there. So everything here is almost ready. And here's the pipe coming from the pump. Uh, let me get under here. So coming from the pump, going to the pipe that goes up to the table there. And here's the two drainage pipes coming down. And their hoses are just going outside right into the uh, reservoir there. So now it's kind of the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn on my uh, my pump here, hopefully it doesn't squirt out the sides. I'm thinking it's not gonna be very strong at all. But we'll see, especially since I have a lot of pressure going out to the, um, a lot of pressure going out to the chiller. So it's gonna divide pressure between the chiller and between this manifold here. And this manifold's a lot higher. So we'll see how it goes. Let me turn it up. I'm gonna open this valve gradually here and see how it sprays. Hopefully it doesn't make any messes. Oh wait, wait, this way, sorry. Oh, oh, that was right the first time. So there we go. There's a little bit of flow. Let's see what happens out here. No flow coming yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's probably gonna be enough flow right there. So now I can go ahead and finish up the rest of this build. This RODI uh, tubing is awesome, by the way. It's really <laughs> easy to work with after, after messing with PVC and stuff like that for so long. This RODI tubing just pushed together, connect is pretty awesome. So either way, I'm gonna go ahead and put the buckets in here and then uh, get my rest of my tubing to their respective bucket locations and then finish up this build and we'll see what we got when I'm finished. Okay, that is a wrap. So I've got the pump running right now. I've got it on very low actually. I've got the majority of the flow going through the chiller still. You can see I have the, the valve barely open here and it's getting good flow out there. I only put just an elbow on there I was thinking about splitting it and having a little flow on each side of the plants I'm gonna put in these things, but I decided, I've, I've run uh, top fed systems before and single singular flow is fine. It doesn't make any difference. So I just put an elbow on there. If I need to get the water deeper down in the hydrogen, I'll just put another little piece of, chop off a little piece of line and put it in the elbow. But as it is right now, I've just got the elbows here on top of the buckets. And all of them you can see are just Pouring water straight in there, nice and solid current flow here. So it turned out really even, really well. And it's all getting good flow. And it's all flowing down through the uh, drain over here, which is actually draining pretty slow, but that's all right. When it gets to, uh, actually, yeah. So it should be fine here on the on the draining. I, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't overflow or something, but two half inch bulkheads should easily cover what I got going here. But either way, that's what's going on here. Everything looks good. I've got it propped up slightly on this end, uh, maybe a half inch. So everything's running out the drainage side there. And uh, yeah, so that's the wrap. 
Um, this thing is gonna. I'm gonna put my vegging plants in here right now, actually, because I've been waiting to do this. I needed to get this done so I can get my plants in here. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna throw them in here. My vegging plants are actually hurting because I've got them in a hydroponic uh, cloner right now, still in the water, and they're super hot and they're kind of wilted and hurting from it. But either way, it is ready now. The plants are ready to go in it. I'm gonna keep an eye on those drains. Like I said, those drains are looking a little bit suspect. Nothing's dripping down here. Sorry, nothing's dripping underneath. I was just looking down here myself. Nothing's dripping down here underneath yet. So far, everything's fine. And like I said, the uh, I'm happy with the way everything's going here. So I'm gonna have. I'm definitely gonna have to keep an uh, eye on the water level here because it is pretty high to be in a. In a uh, I may have to tilt the um, tilt my table up a little more. Just get the, the water level just going down faster and getting it draining down there a little better. But as it is, it's fine. It's a uh, weird, weird flow over there. But either way, that's it. This thing should work really good. Um, if you guys want to see how it does, I'm going to be putting my vegging plants in here right now. It'll be in my other videos. So uh, if you haven't yet, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, you'll get to see how awesome a simple system. This is super simple. It's just little lines going to hydrogen filled net pot on top of an upside down bucket so a pump coming in and some drainage pipes going out and that's a wrap um, so there you go that's basically that's how that's how easy this can be um, and like I said I have I'm almost 100% positive this is gonna work I, I've done it before in the past and it worked fine so either way if you watch this far I appreciate you and uh, hopefully you'll come back and see how this uh, does for the vegging plants and I'm sure it'll do good. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.